All right, everyone, we're back to start on these corners again. So we're going to start counting one, two, three, four, and we're going to go with two out just like that. And then one, two, three, four, pop, pop. Then you go a third and go one, two, three, four. Then you go back and we go a third and go one, two, three, four. By the way, if it seems like I know what I'm doing, even though you're thinking, oh my, you know, he must have like studied this because yesterday he was absolutely out of his mind. No, I actually had just got it today. You know, it's just like, I'm just thinking better right now. So there we go. We pop out that corner and the other one. And I believe that's it. Have anyone else noticed when you use a tool now sometimes, it like, it just like keeps going. I don't even know. It's like, like that, see? I wasn't even touching the screen, but it continues. See, I'm not touching it. It's just weird. It just keeps going like a spaz. It's weird. So anyway, let's go ahead and fill this in. And I'm I'm thinking that took like no time whatsoever. So we could probably get the other corners done like right now and then start working on some other things that are a little bit more important, you know. And eventually we're going to make it look legit from down there. It's going to be these pillars coming down, building this whole castle. Okay, one two, three, four, and oh goody, we've even got that thing, one, two, three, four, alright, so, I'm out of cobble, alright, let's get this, now we go a third, and go one, two, three, four, okay, we're done with that part, and, look how good I'm doing, I'm not even falling off today, this is great, oh, there we go, as soon as I say something, I nearly fall off, that's, that's amazing, that would happen to me, one, two, three, four, now we go this, 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 um, that. And then we pop out these corner pieces that are not necessary, and we move on. So there we go. That's that corner. Of course, we need to fill it in, but that takes, you know, three seconds. Nothing, nothing serious. Okay. Now, those of you that are watching, you're probably finally starting to see what the castle really is. You probably at first thought I was retarded and you're like what is he even building you know this just looks like nothing it doesn't even look like anything now you can see the corners they might even look funny right now but later on they're gonna look really nice you know they they get really cool so eventually you will see okay one two three four that they are indeed the right thing three four and this is the last corner so one two three four Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four. We are on a roll today. Think about how long it took me to figure this out last time. And now it's like, boom, 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 boom. We're done. Okay. I should probably not be walking backwards over this kind of thing, you know. It's not a good idea. Okay. It's time for these two corners to go. Is it, the sun's coming up, isn't it? Yes. We did this the whole night long. Amazing. That's a great way to use the night, you know. It's like here. Now let me think about this. I just remembered something. Oh, I remember now. I remember. Nothing to worry about. I'm doing this slightly incorrectly, but, you know, no big deal at the moment. It's not going to... It's going to be best to do it this way for now. So, I'm going to build this, like, seven layers up. So, we need some serious cobblestone. And, I guess we start. So, we go one, two... I think we can only do that many at a time. So, see? So, that's... It goes pretty fast, you know? You just walk around the border, take care of it real quick. And once this is done, you know, I'm serious. It looks so good, you won't even believe it. Oh, jeez. That is dumb. It looks amazing, you know? I think what I'm going to do... You guys let me know what you think in the comments, if it's important. I've had a couple of requests. Not a whole lot, but a little bit, you know? Um, For a downloadable map. So, I thought I could do something like that, where every episode, maybe every other episode, you know, I can make the map downloadable so you could go and get it and like play around on the stuff I'm building or whatever you know you can do whatever I'm doing I don't care it doesn't really matter so that way you guys can have the castle all the stuff you have watched me build you know it'll be easy to download I can even just make it something like um on my new website stuff I'll just make it a downloadable thing if you guys want I'll put the link in the description of the video you know and I did not mean to build that corner piece um and then every episode, or maybe, it'll maybe be other every other, you know, because it's not super easy to, like, 
make a downloadable downloadable map every single time. It takes time to actually, you know, get the whole map file and everything ready. But maybe I could get it every other or something like that. You guys let me know. And then you guys can just download it. It'll be free, obviously. I'm not going to make the download cost anything. And then you can put it on your device. And if you don't know how to download maps and, like, actually use them on Minecraft Pocket Edition, you don't have to be jailbroken. You don't have to be rooted on your Android device. It doesn't need anything like that. Now, if you're not jailbroken, jailbroken is the easiest way, I would say. Except for Android, it's just the same. But um, if you're not jailbroken and you can't be for whatever reason, you are going to need a computer. Okay, so there's not really a way to do it without using a computer. There might be some other way, but nothing that's, you know, it's, it's all going to be similar to jailbreaking unless you have a computer. So if you do, you can use programs. There's quite a few free ones. The main one I hear about people actually using is called uh, iExplorer, I think it is. I can put a link in the description sometime. But anyway, I can show you guys in a tutorial how to actually use download maps and actually place them in your world's file, you know, so that you can actually use them. Because you have to make sure you set the properties correctly so that it works with the Minecraft stuff. Because if you just simply drag and drop the world in there, it's not going to work. You have to actually configure the fo the the uh, well, I guess folder directory, whatever. Um, you have to configure it to work on mobile. So, you know, it's not a big deal. It's easy. I don't know if it sounds hard. It shouldn't. But okay, one, two, three, boom. We're out of cobblestone. But look at that. That went up fast. So that's what I'm talking about. That part in the corner. I did it somewhat incorrectly here. I don't really want these to be here. But as you can see. Unless I want to fall down to my doom. Wait a second here. Yeah, over here. Okay. I was like, wait, it's all good. No, it's not. Unless I want to fall down there and die. This is how it's going to be for now. So eventually, yes, I will lower it one level below so I can walk around here, be flat, and I'll have like staircases up spiraling in all the corners up to the top. But for now, it's, this is the simplest way to do it, I think. So. Let's head down there and get some more cobblestone. Because I'm at, which means we have to go all the way down to the mob trap instead of just into my house, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you know, it's not a huge big deal. And the wheat is finally growing. Oh my goodness. It's a miracle. Look at these wheat grandmas. They're all Grammys. They take forever. They take bloody forever to grow. You know, I don't know what's wrong with them. And that is my tree farm that I'm getting distracted, but. It's actually working. It's actually growing. How amazing. We should chop that thing down sometime. And I want to shoot that creeper. Like right now. Alright, I'm going to shoot him. Oh, that was a good shot, but not quite good enough. What is he doing? He's like jumping around like a little freak. Okay, that was weird. I just shot myself without even... I like ran into my own error. Let's try that again. Nope. Nope, I missed again. I ran into my own error. That was like the weirdest thing in the world. Take your eye out. Oh, that's right, Creeper. I'm sorry. I'm sincerely sorry. I, you know what? I am so sorry. I'm crying right now. I am crying, crying, crying because I'm so sad. I'm so sad that you're dead. No, I'm not sad. I'm happy. Okay. I'm going to stop being crazy. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all this dirt because I don't, I don't see what the purpose for anymore. As far as what we're doing currently, we don't even need really chess. I just need to go down there and get some more cobblestone. And also... You guys may have noticed, um, I'll, I'll show you guys right here, my skin, my person, my player skin, you know, it's just the normal classic char skin, the normal one that everyone uses, you can see my hand here, it's just the normal one, you know, I always used to do that just because I thought the generic one was kind of cool for, like, videos or whatever, since all of you are using this, well, most of you, because most of you don't edit the skins, and the other problem is, if I edit my skin on Minecraft Pocket Edition, it... it the way the game's programmed is so that everyone in the game that you see is basically using that same skin. Which means that if I go and do something, you know, I change my skin or whatever, we're going to have a bit of a problem, okay? Because that means that everyone I see is going to have that skin too. Which, which most of my Let's Plays, you know, we don't really include that anyway. But then I have to change it for my other ones, and it just gets annoying. So, I'm not sure what to do, because I, I I use skin on the PC version, you know, I have the PC version from bloody forever ago, you know, right when it came out practically, and, you know, so obviously I have my own skin, 
It's a Link skin, actually. It's the best one there is for, you know, Zelda, Link. He's awesome. I love those games. So that's like, those are the best games ever, practically. Of course, Minecraft, you know, is better, but I love those games. Legend of Zelda's, I've beat, like, every single one of them. I only have some of these consoles so I can play those games, you know, because they're so fun. I don't even know. I used to play them all the time on Game Boys and N64, you know, Super Nintendo, all those fun things. I just pulled out yesterday actually my Super Nintendo and was looking at that because it's, it's so awesome, it's so old and the games are like so funny. 8-bit music, you know, crazy pixels and the graphics are so amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, they're, they're, not, they're not amazing. They're actually quite humorous, really. I, I laugh at them because it looks so weird. You know, when it first came out, N64, you know, Donkey Kong, all those, all those things. You know, you used to think, oh my heck, this is so cool, the graphics, they're so awesome, you know. Super Smash Brothers 64, so cool, but really, once you come back to it later, it's a laughing matter because it's so dumb, you know? You come back and look at it, you're like, did I really play that? Those graphics are terrible. And the controls, like, when you try to move them, it's, like, not very sensitive. Yes, that looks dumb, okay? Don't comment right now on that because, yes, one day, it's going to come down to the ground to make sure it looks normal. All that dirt on the outside, it's going to be stone, okay? It's going to look, it's going to look good. It's going to look really good. But that's not exactly, uh, you know, super high priority right now. So I'm just going to leave it for now. But, anyway. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, well, we're done with that. Get me up here. There we go. Alright. Let's go get this piece because it's bugging me. I don't... It's just been bugging me for a while. I just wasn't picking it up. I don't know why. So, anyway. We've got some iron ingots here and some wood, which means I can make a shovel eventually, and uh, take out all this dirt and replace it with some cobblestone so it looks much better. You know, that's eventually going to have to take place. I'll also put some wool in here. I'm going to capture some sheep, dye it red, use some royal red carpet for my castle. And uh, that's it, everyone. That's, that's it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my series so far, which I know you do, so don't even give me this crap, go ahead and give it a like. Comment if you want. I don't care. You can talk down there if you want. You know, I might reply. Usually, I don't have a lot of time to read through YouTube comments, but sometimes I do. You know, if it's like a comment-based video. But anyway, so thanks again, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. If you have requests, go ahead and post them below.